As midnight turns to dawn, they have come, a thousand of them, by train, from across Syria. Where are you from? Syria. Where in Syria? Homs. In Homs. Kamishli. From Kamishli. He's coming from Syria, Kamishli. Kamishli? Kamishli yes. city, yeah. Syria, Damascus, Joba. And from even farther afield. Uh, from Afghanistan. Where in Afghan? Uh, Maidan Vardak, Kuramas. Maidan Vardak? Yes. For now, they can enter Hungary, but only to leave, not to stay. So we are here now on the border of Hungary and Austria. These are refugees who have just come on a train from Hungary's southern border. Now, the whole idea is that Hungary has decided that for the moment it is going to open its borders, it's going to allow these people to go through. But if Germany, which is the final destination, decides to close its borders, and then the other countries like Austria and Hungary decide to do the same, then there could be a much greater clash. There is visible relief at the end of a traumatic journey. A journey so long that babies were born on the way. How many days did it take you to come here? 22 days. 22 days. Oh, I see. There's a baby as well? Baby. Ah, okay, well, what, what's her name or his name? Naseem. Naseem. Mm. How old is she? 17 days. So she was born during the journey? Yeah. Where, where is she born? Ah, in Greek. So she's Greek? Yeah. This is a baby? Yeah. Oh, baby boy? Yeah. How old is he? Yermi days. Yermi. Yermi. Twenty. Pardon. Twenty years. Twenty days. He was born where? In Turkey. In Turkey. In Turkey. Okay. Yeah. So he was literally born twenty days ago when you started the journey. Yeah. And how have you managed to look after him? Like food, water, all that for the baby. Water. We took it water okay. and food okay. and everything for the baby, for us. You took it along with you? Is Serbia? No, no yes. Serbia. So bad, so bad. Serbia bad? Bad, yes. Yeah. So yeah. bad. What was bad? Uh, yeah, everything bad in Serbia. They did not look after properly? They didn't give any food, water, water nothing? Water, biscuit, chocolate. Nothing. No, no, no. nothing. Nothing. In Hungary, though, volunteers are waiting with food, water, blankets. An attempt by some Hungarians to counter the hardline stance taken by its government. This is the reputation of the government, and sadly, this is the reputation of the, the civil people. And somehow what I see and experience, like using public transportation, people are commenting on refugee issues, really racist. Um, and because they are driven by the, the government's media campaign, the government spread the hatred among the people. And uh, so people who were kind of afraid from, from, from different people, from other people, they got more afraid. Right. And people who were open, to, to different people and other culture, they get more open. So, so you the, represent the, the second half, the people who are... Yes, yes. I would say we are the minority, but this is a very strong minority. The war is unending and the flows are unlikely to stop. You're from Homs, you said? Syria, Homs, yes. Uh, why do you leave? Because of the fighting? <laughs> Finished. 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 Because of uh, fighting. Everything. Yeah. I'm a, uh, university. University? Yes. Ah, okay. Student? Yes. Why have you left? Let's talk in Syria. War. 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 So, Kamishli, uh, who is fighting there? Is it the is it the army or is it Daesh. ISIS or Daesh? Daesh. Al-Nusra. Uh, Al uh, Al yeah. Al Nusra. Yeah. Yeah. At the moment, there are buses waiting to take them to Austria and, for many, Germany. But the question that hangs in the cold night air is what if Europe changes its mind once again? As we can see already, that winter has started to now approach Europe. It's getting much colder. 
It is not perhaps as easy as it was earlier for them. Many of them have come with blankets and sweaters, but also with very uh, little children. There's always the risk of uh, being exposed to the cold. And it's that point at which all of this, this entire story, could again take a worrying turn in case the EU decides to close its borders. What will then happen to the flows that are still, as we speak, making their way towards Europe's gates? With camera person Xavier and Manas Roshan, Srinivasan Jain at the Austrian-Hungary border for NDTV.